Sitaram, Dr. Raj the Hindu, part two of my logical statements. Sanatan Dharam, when a soldier, a person, anybody, king, queen, pauper, you name it, dies, we cremate, we burn away the existence of that body, that shell. We all know of the reabsorption of everything in this earthly planet and the universe by Lord Shiva. So archaeologists will go to dig up to find bones of man, what we call man, human beings, from the past. Would they find it in India? The answer is no. They won't. We cremate. Everything has turned to dust. It has gone back to the five elements. And that's what happens. All the other elements, you feel a Raja, just go and burn with all the gold and sword and all those kind of things like the other um, olden society. In the olden, o older societies, we see that the kings are buried with their sword on their chest like this. So they'll find the sword after a thousand years. You wouldn't find that for Raja Dasrat. He was cremated. You wouldn't find that for Lord Rama. He immersed himself with the universe. Lord Krishna, same thing. So all the avatar that came on this earth, or the avatar, all of them was reabsorbed into the universe. The only living God that we have that remain on this earth is Lord Hanuman. And the evidence of the footstep of Lord Rama, the bridge that he built, the distance that he walked, it's all there in India. That's why I'm so proud of being called an Indian and having Indian ancestries. Because I know in India, everything that we read in our books, all the factual accounts of everything from Lord Shiva dance to the last incarnation, we can have find evidence of that. But we know we'll never find the kind of evidence archaeologists are looking for because they have been trained in a Western society, in a Western way, to think like a Westerner or a Christian or a Muslim. They have been taught to go and dig up and find bones. Where would you find bones if you cremate people down to ashes? Where would you find artifacts like the chariot or the pushback viman? All the vimanas that they had there, there are evidence that it was there, you know. What we will call the airport for them. It's still there in Sri Lanka and in India. It was there. But of course we all know that as Hindus, we take old material and make new things out of it. We don't bury it in the sun and say, okay, somebody's going to find it at 10,000 years from now. No, we don't do that. We reuse things because we've been taught how to do that. We know the value of all substances on this earth. Whether it's made, it made of gold, silver, bronze, iron, steel. How come there's an iron pillar in India that cannot rust? How come? How come the technology existed for that? How come there are temples that were carved from the top come down? How come there are temples in India or temple in India where the pillars, they float? How come? Are we are supposed to be inferior people? No, no, my friend, not at all. Absolutely not. We create the binary system that runs computers. Don't you know that? We created mathematics. Don't you know that? There is nothing on this earth that doesn't run without mathematics. Without binary system, you cannot have all the smart devices that you use. And we created that ones and zeros. And somebody will say, oh, that was invented in Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia, my royal behind. Because you see, you Christians, you Muslims, and you Jews don't want to accept the fact that we Hindus were here long before you, inventing things long before you, knew of things long before you, even dreamed to be existing. So, from now on, my Hindu brothers and sisters, read, 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 and double read. Go to your yajnas, listen to your pandits. The Sanatana Dharma Mahasabha of Trinidad and Tobago, educate your pandits. Not to condemn any religion, but to give them facts. And you see, when you give them truthful facts, 
they cower. The first thing they say, oh, you condemning my religion. We don't condemn your religion. We're just giving you facts about Sanatan Dharam. And when we give you those facts, Aapka Dharam, that is my Dharam. You can't fight it. And that's the beauty of being a Sanatanist. We have the facts. So all the pundits go out there, have your yajnas, invite the young people to come and listen to these things. If you don't know it, if they can't understand the Sanskrit or the Hindi, put it in English. Let them understand, read the Chaupais and all that because the music is beautiful and the sound is so beautiful. But at the same time, explain it to them and explain it to them and explain it to them. Explain it how do we know astrology, astrono ast astronomy, science, biology, physics, chemistry, math, you name it, we know it. Explain it to them how we know all these things and then tell them, go out there and educate the uneducated Abrahamic religion fanatics out there. Some of them are very nice. They belong to my family also and I respect them. But don't come with your stupidness by me. Don't come with it at all because I have the facts. And when I have the facts, I'll give it to you. And when I give it to you, it will make you cringe. Jai Sri Ram.